Hey, what's happening, guys? Thanks for tuning back on in. This is the fifth episode now in our series. I'm Imperial Jedi, and we're just about to uh, hop on a flight and uh, head over to Detroit. Figured we'd do the opposite end of this little uh, air corridor of ours, and we can just kind of go over what we're going to be doing in the episode, and just uh, maybe we can enjoy the nice, uh, nice scenery. Um, so we're uh, very shortly going to be unlocking a, um, a new train, and I want to use that one when we unlock. It's actually one of my favorite trains in the um, in the entire series. And it's kind of like the epitome of like the 1930s. It just like screams like like retro futurism. Like I totally love it so much. So we're gonna use that a lot, and it's pretty fast too, all things considering. And um, it, it kind of reminds me of like one of those like 1930s kind of like camper, kind of like you know like everything's I don't like almost moon inspired or something like the space race kind of that kind of feel. Um, anyway, so I want to use those on line number 13. And that's um, it's doing pretty well. We were buying some new trains for that at the end of the last episode, and I've just kind of taking a look. Um, it does look like we do need some more, um, but if we are going to be unlocking that new train soon, might as well just use those, right? And line number one, I just actually realized that we have two different speeds of locomotives. I don't remember if that was intentional or how that kind of happened. I think maybe one just got um, left behind or something or, or just placed over from a, a different line. Either way, I just want to do also an upgrade over there. So if we are getting rid of some of the trains from um, line number 13, Maybe one of those can be uh, repurposed and just put on line number one. Because I think those were the faster of the um, the locomotives uh, that we have available. And um, yeah, we probably should take a look over at um, or just our sea, you know, seaport and that kind of stuff. See if, if that's actually making money and everything, right? And then lastly, what I want to do too, actually, let's just jump out right here, is I want to just take a look and see if we can maybe maximize uh, the trucking a little bit more with this. Because you can see we're actually getting an okay amount of fuel um, coming up here. We're getting these things almost half full. That one maybe is a little bit light. But um, but yeah, I think we're starting to get there. Let me just show you um, these as a whole. So here's the train that's going a little bit slow. So that one we're going to get rid of. And you can see that one's got six um, six cars. I think we just did that one. Oh, I remember now. We just did one really longer one, but I think I used the wrong engine for it. So that one we just know happens to go slow. Okay. I remember now. Either way, uh, most of these very profitable. And then something I almost forgot to uh, point out too is we left um, a bus line number five, and that was the inner city link between Little Rock and Detroit, and that's making us so much money that we are definitely going to keep that. Because a lot of the Sims in the game, they don't really care if there's like a faster way. Sometimes they want a cheaper way. Oh, here's the train I was talking about. Yes, all right, 1934. That's when it is. Knew it. Um, okay, cool. So um, uh, let me just do one more thing over here. <clears throat> So yeah, lastly, I'm going to say, oh, we also have the same, oh, here's how it happened. It was these guys that were the troublemakers. See the two different types over here on that line, too? Okay. There we go. Problem's been solved. Um, so yeah, over here, we're still losing money, but the supporting truck routes are kind of making us money. That one, maybe not, but we're getting close. And then, like, this train, for example, this will be leaving about half full. See, a little bit, a little bit more, right? So we're getting close, but I just think that that could be a little bit better. Um, okay. So very simply, you know what we could do is um, just upgrade all trains at once. I'll have to kind of save for that. So let's do line one first. I'm going to send these vehicles right on back to the, um, the station. And I think four trains would be a little bit too much because of how fast these ones will now be going. So I think we'll do three on line one, and then we'll maybe do four or five on uh, line number 13. And then in town, I think we could maybe put a few more vehicles on some of the routes, just to kind of get a little bit more profit, you know? Okay, without further ado. So let's send these guys all back home and sell them once they get there. And then hopefully our signaling won't get these guys lost or anything along the uh, along the way. And the new trains, um, what are they? I think they're about five or six million or so. Yeah, 5.08 million, so that's actually not too bad. So we can definitely buy three of those. Hopefully do it without uh, having to wait for that one to get sold. And if you're super nostalgic and you really love these old steam engines, just keep a few in one of your old, one of your garages. Like, you'll have to pay maintenance on it, um, but if you can afford to, um, when it, the old one comes in, make a clone of it, 
and that'll, um, you know, make it a new one again, in air quotes, sell the old one, and then that way you just have like a brand new, just, you know, steam locomotive that you can unleash, you know, 20, 30, 40 years later. Because you'll notice that some of the older um, vehicles, actually they're still there, um, as you get a little bit further along in the timeline, some of the older vehicles aren't available anymore. So some of your favorites will be, uh, will be Gonzo. Okay, so that's three right there. Set these guys on line number one. And they're just going to wait for the rest of these incoming trains to um, uh, to make their way into the garage before they leave, but that's no problem. And then we'll do the same thing for line number 13, but because of how expensive that's going to be, I think what we'll do is start um, unrolling the trains maybe one at a time, and then we can start selling these kind of at like periodic intervals. So it won't be overly efficient for the spacing right away, but... I think we'll get the mission you know, accomplished eventually. And then maybe uh, a couple of the faster ones from line 13, or maybe one of them, we can just kind of keep for for that nostalgia value. And then yeah, we'll uh, hop back over to Chicago after this, and we'll just maybe attach another city. And I, just now that we know how like incredibly profitable it is to keep the bus routes going in between the two areas, we might just keep those kind of everywhere, and maybe add some more. Maybe another truck or two right over here. So yeah, it's a lot of fine-tuning. It's kind of my goal for this episode. So we'll see how time kind of goes and see what we get accomplished, but I think you know what we're trying to do in the general grand scheme of it all. All right, hurry up and get in that station. Let's put this on three speed right here. I want to see these new trains. Awesome, here they come. Yeah, these things are cool, right? That is really cool. It's like a little bullet train. It's like the Silver Zephyr, as we can call it, you know? Anyway, I'm a big fan of these. Um, I definitely want to use these as often as possible. And I'll clone these ones up, type thing. When the, uh, when the timing is right. And then something that I totally forgot, uh, that someone pointed out in the comments section, is that these little trains right here, you can actually double them up or triple them up, and you can make a good little um, train line out of them. So instead of adding more and more vehicles, you can just make the um, things longer. Or you can have them tow something. Like they'll have a little bit of towing power. So that's just something, you know, some food for thought, basically. Okay, so line 13, we can now purchase two of those trains. So let's go ahead and buy those, put them on on the tracks. Great. And we'll look for trains that are leaving from here, because that'll be the easiest. Into Oh, nice, cool. Oh, the DC-3. Oh, this is interesting. So this is before McDonnell Douglas teamed up. So this is Douglas just being separate. So the Douglas DC-3, that's kind of cool. And then this new uh, engine and, uh, and train car, that's cool too. So yeah, what we'll do is, um, once these guys drop off their um, passengers, we'll have them just go straight to the garage. And that way they won't be picking up new people and, and this and that. And whichever one is the faster one... Yeah, so this one goes 100, maybe we'll keep this one. Versus the ones that only go 80. So that one we just won't sell it when it gets to the garage. And then what we can also do is have like a separate garage elsewhere just for our vintage kind of locomotives. Okay, so we'll send that back to the depot. And we'll just hang out here for a second and we'll do the same thing with the next one that comes through. And just out of curiosity, what is this towing? Yeah, 28. I mean, we're getting there. I think we just need a little bit more time. I don't know why I'm talking so negatively about that. Maybe what we could do is just add a few more trucks to this longer line. You can see there's a bit of a gap here. What color is that one? What's that turquoise-y? Kind of... Line number 24. Um, I guess we'll need from Detroit. What's faster? Oh, that one looks like... More expensive, but... And we'll just put those on line number 24. Cool. And we'll need to just go through our automatic vehicle upgrades and just start putting some of the um, the newer unlocked vehicles as our, our replacement. Still got a little bit of time with that. This is, again, one of the trains that's going 100, so we can possibly keep this. We don't need to keep them both. We can just kind of clone the one that's in there, so... 
Either way, it's going back to the depot once it drops off people. Just trying to be a little bit efficient. Might as well have it go, you know, this way and make us some money as it does that. And I'd like to now put a couple more trucks just over here. You can see our spacing's not bad, but we still have a lot left over. So that's kind of that lighter gray color line. Looks like line number 20. And should be, oops, that's our wrong garage. And just a couple more. Okay, that's our faster one, no problem. See, so yeah, I will sell one of these. Awesome. And then when we get to five million, we'll just buy another one of those faster ones. Oh, cool, a new, uh, new engine. That's a good looking one, too. Oh, in case you guys didn't notice, I did upgrade our tracks to um, high speed rail. And oh my goodness, look at all this traffic. So you can kind of see how it's funny, right? Like in town, we've got a good little transit network and grid, not too much traffic. The only road coming into town, totally bogged down. Oh, let's send that back before it picks up people. Picked up a few there, but that's okay. So given that we know that that's a bit of a um, problem area, why don't we give people a backup option so they can get into town a different way? If that's not too expensive, we can make that, wow, never mind, make that even a third option. And then of course the other thing we could do is um, find where the signals wouldn't um, be an issue and all the slope and everything might cooperate a bit better. Or even make a little bridge, but we have a bypass and just have traffic kind of come the other way through town. But I feel like this, you know, did something, so. Pat in the back right there. Here's our next train. Yeah, I'm a little bit slow because it's picking up people. Okay, uh, we got our 5 million. Let's buy ourselves the next uh, one of our trains. Is this one the slower one? Or is that one the slower one? Cannot see uh, further detail. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, okay, that one's the 80. Sell that. Keep that one. So that's number five, just for reference. So we'll sell this one here, number 11. Cool. Bad trains, we can probably buy two actually. Awesome. Oops, I wanna clone that, I wanna put that on a line, please. A line 13 and line 13, great. So we'll just double check that we're not missing anybody, but I think that should be everyone for line 13. Yep, just our new trains. Great, so that's four of them. Perfect. I would like a fifth eventually. So we'll get that when we can afford it, because you can see we have a lot of people waiting. And uh, just something I wanted to point out for you guys too, is I did not upgrade this last little segment. And I'll kind of show you a little bit of a known bug, and I think I've mentioned this before, but just, just in case, right? When you upgrade your lines to either the overhead wires or um, high-speed rail like this, or if you're upgrading your station, um, the trains on that track will have a tendency to want to flip their direction. And so what I'm going to do really quickly is just do a once-over and just make sure that our trains are still going the right way. And it looks like they are. There really weren't any trains there, but just something to kind of be aware of. Looks like everyone's going the right direction. Look how fast these are moving. I love it. This is great. And, okay, so a little bit of a problem right here, no worries. Um, in an instance like this, what I'm going to have to do is um, send... This is a little bit silly, unfortunately. But I'm going to send this guy back. And again, like, don't panic, it just, it's a little annoying and silly sometimes. What I'm going to do is flip this so it goes like that. Send that one back to the depot. And I really wish that one didn't do that, but we'll reverse it too. And I wish they had a, um, a stop option, but that's okay. We'll just have to go ahead and reverse them. Okay, so that now, 
um, triggers this signal. This one will go back and it's heading to the, um, the depot. We're gonna get rid now of this little um, extra bit of track right here. And perfect, everything is now fixed. So when that kind of stuff happens, it's a little bit frustrating. That may have also been a result of us doing the upgrade to the um, the track, or it could just be when I hit um, you know the button to send everyone home on, on line number one. Either way, not the end of the world. Something to kind of just be aware of and to look out for. Um, okay, so let's let everything run over here. Um, when we have five million, we'll just jump back over and buy really quickly a um, a new uh, a new train. Otherwise, uh, let's put in a. Um, uh, some in-town traffic uh, transit in Fort Lauderdale, put in a train station, we'll keep the bus line, and then we'll just try and get, yeah, more people over to uh, Chicago. You can kind of see, again, there's no transit in town here, and look how many people are driving around as a result. So pretty, pretty big difference, I think. So I see these guys as all just potential customers for us to try and capture. Okay. So, like, really nothing new here, just a little bit of in-town transit and building. Um, I am going to put our train station, I think, down over here. And just because of the way everything's rooted through here, I might maybe do eventually, like, a high-speed link to Santa um, Clarita. So I'm going to leave this as a four-track station. I mean, just, you never know, right? Oops, wrong spot. Um, and then we also have the option to go down to... Um, Whatever city that was, uh, Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, cool! <laughs> That's kind of funny. Then we can head down there. So why don't we put this then over here? Oh, there's a road that just popped out of nowhere. That might be our saving grace. Okay, so let's go like this, and let's stretch this street back through here. I think I can get that. That's the angle I'm looking for. And it would be cool to get this to, yeah, connect like that. Okay, there we go. Now, I wonder <clears throat> what that would just look like as a straight connection. Honestly, we don't really lose too much speed right here, and because it's going right in, I think I'm actually going to leave that. It's really not that bad. Alright, I think that fits the bill. And let's do our signal right here. Or our switch, I should, I should say. And then our signal right here. So that's before, and then that's after. And I'm, it's going to be maybe a little bit of anarchy on that road right there, but hopefully it won't be too bad. I don't want to double up the signals and just cause any any issues. I mean, trains like prematurely leave the station and then block someone or something. Um, okay, so just a really fast signal and switch little system right here as well. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we probably should put a new garage or something um, back over here. Just so we don't have to worry about, you know, we actually can't even bring the trains from the other garage, what am I saying? Um, okay, well, why don't we have... Just a track leave like this. And we'll have a track lead from that one. There we go. Um, I'm not really keen on that slope. Uh, what you can do to fix the slope is now that we have that point anchored already, uh, what we can do is reverse it. Let's say go down here. Make that looks a little bit straighter. And then you'll notice, uh, in terms of terraforming, it's made this a lot flatter, and it kind of started the slope a little bit further back. So you can see we can do the same thing for that side. Uh, I'll do it a little bit later when the um, you know, trains are going through. But because we have a train going through this one, let's just do this now. 
And so same idea, a lot flatter. There's the before, there's the after. So if you want to get rid of that, that's kind of how you do it, you know? Okay, so train station in. I think we have enough room. Or train garage, I should say. Oh, um, you know, before we do that, let's put it in the line. Might, uh, might come in handy. Excellent. So that's there and back. And before we put some trains down, I'm actually jumping the gun. Let's get some in-town transit here first. And to bash through some buildings. That's okay. Put these here now. And then what direction will we go? Maybe to Fullerton on the other side. So let's try and go through here. There we go. That's kind of cool, actually. And then, yeah, just maybe a little bit of placeholder. Uh, okay, so in-town transit. Let's just do that really quickly here. I think we kind of know what we're after. Yeah, I was hoping to put that right in there if there's enough room. It's possible, but I don't know. Maybe if I get creative. No, so you know what we're going to do is just put this... Oh, actually, would that fit? No, it wouldn't fit in there either. A lot of buildings are going to be destroyed, unfortunately. There we go. I kind of want that, though, so I'm going to incur the cost. You can see we've got a lot of money. Let's repay some of our loans, and then let's now buy... Um, a couple more trains really quickly for our lines over here. You can see line number one looks like we could still justify putting at least one more train down. And then line number 13 could probably use two more trains, to be honest. Trucking looks good over there. And how fast do these ones go? 160. Well, that's pretty darn good, but I think these guys are still faster, right? Okay, so that's three of them. And, oh, well, now we have four. I keep pressing that button for some reason. I keep wanting to assign the trains that way. Uh, so line number one. Line number 13. Line number 13. And then, so, train number five. Just mental note, we're cloning this. We don't have enough money, of course. I never remember to look down there. Let's just do this now before we forget. So 19 is the new one, 5 is the old one, sell the old one, now we have a brand spanking new train right here. Let's see right here, details, value 100%, so if we sell it, still worth that much. All we have to do is just pay the operating costs. But now we have this awesome brand new kind of locomotive that we can use way down the road. And I think you actually get an achievement if you uh, do something like that. But I think you do it for many trains, so I don't, uh, I don't remember the... How that works. Um, okay, so we'll let that run. Uh, obviously, we're very profitable, so that's great. Let's not get too sidetracked here. Let's continue with our push in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, so let's do one thing at a time here. Let's do the tram route that's going to cut through our town. And maybe have that end over here. Why don't we make this one a bus? Let's go ahead and put that in right now. And we're actually going to go this direction, even though I just put that down. Or are we? I don't know. I think Fort Lauderdale is a bit of a bigger town than we're actually giving it credit for, so I may actually do um, one little sweep of in-town, um, like a little additional in-town route compared to what we normally do. And I think this intersection, it's a little bit redundant. Even though that, that cost me $800,000 to um, to destroy, I think that's kind of a... Uh, I want to get rid of that one too, to be honest, but... Oh cool, new streetcar. I'm just trying to cut down on intersections that we have. You see this is even still a little, a little silly too, right? Okay, so new line. And now that we're unlocking some of these newer vehicles, we got to get still be in that habit of just, um, you know, Upgrading, uh, doing the automatic vehicle upgrades. I guess you do that over here. I'll probably end up doing this, though, off-camera, since we've been unlocked probably a few things. But just, you know, 
for those of you playing at home type things. Just a good habit to get into. I think I clicked that new line. I did. Oh, no. I guess I didn't. All right, so starting here, and this is just going to be a quick little in-town route. Oh, and I've already gone against what I wanted. Silly me. Just like that, and this will just be a bus route. And then we'll have multiple tram routes in town. And you'll kind of see what I'm, what I'll be up to with that. Okay, let's just buy ourselves a depot. One for each. And that really nice color, there it is. Okay, so upgrading our roads so we get some tram tracks in here. And you'll see the direction that I plan on taking with our trams. And I do plan on having multiple, so we're actually going to have a bit of overlap on one of the roads there. Um, okay, cool, perfect. And last but not least, right over there. Okay, so let's drop down our stops right now. And then this is, of course, nothing new. We know what we're doing here. So that one is fine. One over here. Perfect. Let's go in there. Okay. I just do two on the. Okay, never mind. I did both on the same side of the road there. That'd be bad. So, again, maybe a little bit overkill, but I think you guys at this point kind of know what I'm up to. Um, okay. So, we'll do these in stages, then we'll add vehicles in stages too, just so we can kind of manage the uh, chaos a little bit here. So, we'll have a line. It passes by the train station, and this is just like, you know, nothing, this is nothing new. We always do this in our other towns, right? But what I'm going to have instead that's different is have one line that just uh, cuts through um, the inner part of town, but doesn't go near the train station. And probably in the next episode, we'll be doing a little bit more of that in some of the other towns since they're starting to get pretty big. But I'm just kind of pleasantly surprised at how much uh, traffic and how many people there are over in the, in this general area. Okay, so these are going to be trams. Yeah, that would be line number 35 and line number 36. Oops, don't want to upgrade that, silly. Okay, so that's those two right there. And I'm actually going to take it off three speed. No real reason to be motoring through this quickly right now. We've got a lot of money too, so I think we're okay to let things kind of slow down. Um, and then we're going to have now a line that just goes in town, and it's going to have a little bit of overlap with some of the other routes. And we'll just have that one cut through here. Because so I do imagine that um, the town should kind of grow in and around here. Since we're kind of this, you know, part of the train station. So hopefully these won't be, uh, won't be used by no one. Not a very long line, but just to get some people moving in opposite directions of, uh, of our town. There we go. And these ones, because they're a little bit shorter, we'll just do, you know, maybe three vehicles. And because of the um, the little bit of overlap, it's like we don't really need as much on here. Cool. 
double check our lines that everybody great okay so let's now buy a train to go in between our two spots and then, then we can set up a um a bus route between uh uh rancho cucamonga and uh, fort lauderdale it's a funny word um okay trains just buy this really quickly Three should be okay. And just right over here really quickly. Because it's a pretty busy place too. All things considering. Let me just drop that in here. There we go. Okay, new line going from there over to here. Awesome. Let's get. You know what we could do for fun, which we never do. Um, and I think this is more of a European thing, but I think it'd still be kind of fun. Is why don't we upgrade this so that it actually is a tram route the whole way, just for like absolute fun? And the trams they go a pretty decent clip now, so why not, right? Just make sure we're upgraded the entire way. Yeah, just for just for the fun of it. Yeah, great. And over here, tram depot. And just a whole whack of these. And line number thirty-nine. Cool, it works. All right, this is great. Okay, so I'm going to turn up the speed, and um, let's just really quickly upgrade that. And let's double check that trains coming in or not going the wrong way. Okay, that's on the right side. Perfect. These guys are coming. Oh, what an interesting... What have I done here? Oh, it looks like um, oh goodness gracious me. Um, it looks like the, um, the way the garage is set up that we, oh boy. Well, that's silly of me. I believe the issue will correct itself. It's just, oh silly me, that's all, you know? So these guys are gonna have to do a lap, unfortunately, going the wrong direction. And I think that the train, this one here, is gonna cooperate. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to babysit these for a second. Oh, you know what we could do just to simplify this? Is just um, reverse them. And then we'll just put... Um, pause that for a second. Um, I'm just going to reverse this really quickly. And um, there we go. I should bulldoze. Just get that one going. There we go. So a little bit of human error right there, but that's okay. That could be worse. Cool, just put that back in place. And put on three speed. Just make sure everyone's now pointing in the right direction, which it looks like we are. Okay. There we go. Everything's fixed. Oh, cool. New bus. All right. So I think I'm going to leave you guys with this. I don't want to go too long now. Um, very good improvement. So we've got a new um, kind of fun tram route. That's really cool, actually. These things are just motoring along, too, at a pretty decent speed. And uh, that'll bring more people into Fort Lauderdale. And then those people will go uh, over to Chicago, hopefully. And then we should see more people using our airplanes. They're five out of five with people waiting, so that's great. So next episode, um, we'll do some airline upgrades. Um, we'll just continue working on this neck of the woods. Maybe we can do the same thing with Chandler. Just get you know the same kind of you know setup we got with Fort Lauderdale. Bring more people over here, and then I'd like to actually add another airport, maybe over in like the Portland area, and then connect that over with the Salia, so it has a little bit of more function. And then we have like kind of, yeah, different airports, different options, that kind of stuff. But just 
moving forward. And then I still want to do a little bit more work on our cargo routes just to kind of see if we can get those a little bit more maximized. But I think, you know, we're killing it right now just in terms of money. So, I mean, nothing wrong with that. When we weren't spending it all, we were making $24 million in a year, which is great. We can repay our loans, which is also great. So we got money for like a rainy day type thing. But I think, yeah, I think this was a very good episode. I wanted to make a lot of money. I think we're doing that now. We just have a lot to show for it and we're having a lot of fun, I think. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out with me as always. I love these things. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun, guys. Drop me a comment. Let me know what's going on. Otherwise, hope things are going uh, going great in your own towns. And I will see you in the next one. Adios and all the best.